there my name is Elena welcome to my channel today we are gonna make this oversized sweater pullover jumper however you want to call it uh, for the project I used one skein of the lion brand pound of love this is all I have left from that skein so I wear size small if you want to make something similar just keep in mind your sizing if you uh, want it even even more oversized you will probably need two skeins of this yarn as always i try to keep my tutorials simple and easy we will have a front panel an identical back panel the sleeves and then we will work the edging at the bottom and then at the end of the sleeves and if you like my tutorials please subscribe i post every sunday new tutorial for absolutely free give this video a thumbs up comment down in the comment section whatever you feel like you want to tell me and grab your yarn crochet hook let's get to work The yarn I'm going to be using for today's tutorial is a Lion brand Pound of Love and I will insert a picture from Google with all the yarn characteristics. This is just um, a leftover from the sweater so I used one skein to make my sweater and this is what's left from that one skein for size small. The number of chains that you're going to need has to be divisible by three. Uh, I for my project I chained 87 uh, for this project I'll chain way less um, because it's just an example so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 that's going to be enough to show the sample so you will chain multiples of three for as many times or the chain as long as wide you want your project to be and at the end after you've done the multiples of three you will add seven more chains one two three four five six seven and you will put a single crochet into the seventh chain from the hook one two three four five six seven in here single crochet um, and by the way I didn't mention the size of the hook I'm using I will be using or I am using a size six millimeter hook and it works absolutely great for draping and I think that's the best hook for this yarn and then it's very easy you will chain three skip two single crochet into the next again chain three skip two single crochet into the next Till the end of the row chain three skip two single crochet into the next and you are gonna have three chains at the end of your row you will chain three skip two and put a single crochet into the last chain like so turn the work Here we are going to chain 5. The chain 3 will count as a double crochet plus chain 2. And we will single crochet into the first arch. Then we will continue. Chain 3, single crochet into the next arch. Chain 3, single crochet into the next arch. Chain 3 again single crochet into the next arch till the end of your row and at the end of the row you will count one two three from the base from this one to the left and you will put a double crochet into the third chain so here we had chain three plus two here we had chain two plus double crochet now turn the work chain one single crochet into this very first one chain three single crochet into the next chain three single crochet into the next arch chain three single crochet into the next arch till the end of the row at the end you are going to chain three because you started your row with chain three 
and you will count the chains from here one two three you will put a single crochet into the third chain from the beginning and now the repeat starts you will basically be repeating row number two and row number three so turn the work the repeat of row number two starts with chain five the chain three counts as a double crochet plus chain two and single crochet into the first arch chain three single crochet into the next arch chain three into the next arch till the end of the row and at the end you're gonna chain three single crochet into the last arch and chain two and put a double crochet into the single crochet from this row Now the next row is going to be a repeat of row number three. We will turn the work, chain one, and put a single crochet right here. Chain three, single crochet into the next starch. Chain three, single crochet into the next arch. Chain three, into the next arch. <coughs> And at the very end, you will chain three and count one, two, three into the third. You will put a single crochet, like so. And keep repeating these rows for as many times for as long you want your sweater to be. Make front and back. Panels. A quick check in here as you can see the difference between this panel that is ironed and this panel that is not ironed the same amount of rows so I would suggest iron both parts before you proceed uh, do not cut uh, off the yarn on um, the second panel because we are gonna start working the bottom side of the sweater so you don't have additional you know tails to work in uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, iron this one and re-iron this on one so uh, they're nice and stretched and you can actually see the design and for reference here are both panels ironed as you can see the difference is quite uh, significant if you like um, blocking block them I don't like to wait for a long time I just um, iron them on the highest uh, I think it's cotton with steam and lightly you know went over the panels stretch them and there we have it okay now how we work the panels here's your first panel that you finished and uh, we are gonna put the bottom of the sweater where we finished the last row now not the base row the base row is gonna be on top where your neckline is you need to put the panel where you finish and it's going to have to be turned with the wrong side towards you. So when you finished it, this is the right side. See where the chain, uh, the Vs are looking towards you. You need to put it backwards where the this side is. And here is the second panel, also upside down. Here is where I asked you not to cut the yarn. And I'm just going to put them one on top of the other. So this is going to be your bottom. Now you are going to have to <laughs> turn them upside down again. Um, for now we are not going to sew the sides. All we are going to do is add the bottom part of the uh, sweater. So you are going to slip stitch into this panel. This is the last row where we put the last chains or arches and now we're gonna connect to the front panel into the third stitch we're just connecting them with a slip stitch these are gonna be your sides you're gonna have to sew them later um, I just you can go ahead and sew them now but I'll sew them later and now we're gonna start the uh, bottom panel the bottom of the sweater is gonna be very simple as well uh, so we slip stitched here we are going to slip stitch into the space and we are going to put two double crochets in each space. So chain three counts as a double crochet plus chain two 
plus a double crochet, two double crochets into the space. Let's add another uh, a double crochet on top of the single crochet. Then two double crochets into the space. And a single crochet into the, I mean double crochet into the single crochet, like so. And one more time, two double crochets into the space. And a double crochet into the single crochet. And go all the way around. Um, actually, you're going to reach the end of this panel. I will show you how we're going to connect it to the the front panel so we have a, a seamless circle. And now I have reached the end of this panel and I need to connect it to this panel. And as you can see we have two inside and one um, on the single crochet. So if we would pretend that these two when they connect is a single crochet so I will insert the hook into this one and then I will insert the hook into the third chain of this panel, this tail needs to be worked in, um, grab the yarn and pull through both sides and put a double crochet. And this is the pattern, um, the pattern will be carried on correctly. So two in the space, one on the single crochet, two in the space, one on the single crochet and you will put two in the first space. Two and one in the single crochet. And as you can see it's going to go seamlessly. And this one is going to go to the back um, when you're going to sew the sides together. And I'll go all the way around until I'll meet you right here at the end. And I've come all the way around, put the last two double crochets into the space. As you can see here the first two double crochets were into this space. So I need to put a double crochet right here where I connected both of them. And slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. And the base is done. Now we're going to turn the work. Now we will start working a back post double crochets. For that um, yarn over, insert the hook behind the double crochet, kind of grab it like this, the whole double crochet. Um, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's our first um, double crochet. This one is going to be from behind. You're going to go from behind the double crochet, grab the yarn, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So it's the same double crochet. Only we will be alternating this one or one double crochet. We will go behind it, the whole double crochet, grab the yarn and just make a double crochet. And for the next one, we will go from behind, like the front, and pull through, like so. One more time. Go behind the double crochet and now you're gonna go from the back but take the front kind of push it backwards grab the yarn lead it through like so and keep alternating all the double crochets until you go a full circle around I will meet you here at the beginning or at the end. And there we come to the end of the row around. And we need to keep the sequence. So uh, this is back, this is front. Hmm. I guess this one is extra. So what I'm gonna do is um, push this two or grab these two and make them as a one. So we have forward, back, and this is forward, like so, and grab this one from the back to keep um, the pattern and slip stitch into it. And yeah. So now I will turn the work again.
And if the width of this uh, bottom row um, satisfies you, you can stop here. Um, I will keep going. I would like to add another row. So I'll chain three, that counts as the first um, double crochet. And here I will yarn over and this one is um, forward, sticking forward. So I'm going to go around the double crochet and put another one. This one is back, so I'm going to go around the double crochet, push it back. This one is facing me to the front, like so. This one goes to the back. And I just keep alternating and keeping up with the pattern. And this is what we have. So go all full circle around. And actually you can uh, go circles around um, and turn and circle and turn for as many times as wide you want this bottom uh, row to be or bottom uh, panel to be. And this is what the garment looks like with the bottom panel. Now uh, what you're going to decide is how wide you want to leave the neck. If you want it off shoulder, obviously you're going to have a wider neckline. If regular, a little uh, smaller, sew the shoulders, put it on and decide how wide you want to leave the sleeves and sew from the bottom up to the sleeve opening. And once you've done all that, I will come back and show you how to do the sleeves. Okay, to make the sleeve, you will get your sleeve opening. The garment is facing with the right side towards you. Actually, we can uh, turn it sideways. And I will make a slip knot and join in the armpit. Join into the first uh, space with a slip knot and I, uh, with a slip stitch and I pull the tail and then I put a single crochet in it. This is how I like to do. And then you're going to chain three and single crochet into the next space, chain three, single crochet into the next space, chain three into the space and we are going to go all the way around. Chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next space. And each space gets a single crochet. Here, do not single crochet in this one. This is not an actual space. It's a space that goes this way. And it, as you can see, it doesn't have a double crochet here or chain three. That's a single crochet where we finish the row. You are going to be joining or putting single crochets only where you have the double crochets or the chain three from the beginning of the row. When you get um, to the end of the round, We are going to chain three and um, slip stitch into the single crochet here from the beginning, like so. And here is our um, gap at the armpit. Now you're going to turn the work and you're going to slip stitch into this space to the left, chain one and single crochet in it and you will start the same process chain three single crochet into the space chain three single crochet into the space chain three single crochet into the space all the way around and as i come to the end of the round chain three single crochet into the last space chain three and slip stitch into the single crochet here. Like so. And this is our second round. Turn the work. Again, slip stitch into the space to the left, chain one, and a single crochet. And as long as you are turning your rows, your seam or your joining parts are going to stay within these two spaces. This one, this one, 
again this and then next so just um, kind of keep up with the pattern and again chain three and single crochet into the space chain three single crochet into the next space and this is how you are going to be adding rounds back and forth back and forth until you reach the desired length of the sleeve and this is my sleeve if I didn't mention it earlier um, I made 25 rounds and uh, <clears throat> it ended up that uh, my 25th one is facing me regardless um, of which way is facing the last row that you are going to make just turn the sleeve with the right side towards you and uh, let me show you the finished sleeve it's right here so uh, it might look that it's not wide enough but I actually like when my sleeves fit very well on my arm like so and um, I, I wouldn't say I have the thinnest arms but this is how it's gonna look it's a three-quarter sleeve like I um, like so it's gonna be right here if your sleeves end higher and the arm is wider um, I will give you another option but this the, what I'm gonna show you now that's uh, how it's gonna fit so what I did is I slip stitched into the space to the left and I chained three that counts as a double crochet and all I did is put one double crochet in each space around or each arch around if you want your sleeve to be a little wider put two double crochets in each space I think that's gonna be enough so one double crochet no chaining in between the double crochets just plain old double crochets all the way around here it might look a little difficult because all the arches had chain three but you will be able to see where you slip stitched that's your chain three you slip stitch into it into the third chain and the sleeve closed if you want to make bell shaped sleeves um, I would put three or four double crochets in each arch to make it even wider here we're working the other way now I'm gonna turn the work and um, I will work front post and back post double crochets so chain three will count as a double crochet and because this one is kind of sticking that way I'll just leave it as is and as a back post and the next one is gonna be a front post then back post and front post and again back post and front post and you already know the principle from uh, you know the bottom of the sweater how we worked for um, I put I believe I put four rounds of um, that bottom panel and here I had for the sleeve four rounds as well and as for the neckline I'll leave it as is I'm not gonna do anything if you want it um, to not stretch uh, go around and put either slip stitches or single crochets um, just to make it you know uh, more defined um, I will leave it as is because maybe sometimes I will want to wear it um, off shoulder I don't think it's wide enough to go off shoulder but you know kind of on the side or um, straight in the middle so I'll just leave it as is and yeah finish the sleeve and you can enjoy a new sweater and this was it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share your works with me on Instagram and Facebook. All the links are down in the description box. And I will see you next Sunday. Have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.